Hi friends, today I'm going to show you how to make a chain stitch, which is how I made a little bit of detail on this cute pom-pom ram. You can also use this for wrapping presents, decorating wine bottles, and other things like that throughout the year. To get started, I'm going to take my yarn and I'm going to make a slip knot. If you don't remember how to do this from your childhood, you want to fold over about four or six inches of yarn. And I'm right-handed, so I'm going to hold the two ends in my left hand and hold on to the loop in my right. Then I'm going to cross that loop over on itself and pull through from the left side of that cross to make a slip knot. And it's called a slip knot because it slips around. Next, I'm going to put my crochet hook through the loop and tighten it just a little bit. I still want enough room to pull my crochet hook in and out of the loop. That way I can add more loops. To get started on the chain part, you want to secure some tension. I like to wrap the yarn around my first finger to do this. Other crocheters and knitters might simply hold on to the yarn through their hand like this, whatever feels most comfortable to you. And don't worry if you need to try a couple of different things to feel comfortable. Then you'll want to pinch the tail of the yarn between your thumb and middle finger. Wrap your crochet hook under the yarn so that it falls in the hook part and pull it through. Take your crochet hook and I'm going um, under from the left side to get it in that hook part and pull it through. So you can think of it as your yarn going on top of your crochet hook or your crochet hook going under the yarn. And that's it. This is the chain stitch process. Simply taking your crochet hook, wrapping it under the yarn, and pulling it through the loop. Now as you keep going, you'll need to adjust your middle and thumb, middle finger and thumb so that you can continue to maintain tension and get some nice even loops. I'm going to stop here and show you how to bind off, but I encourage you to measure your work before you cut to make sure it's long enough. It's quite uh, easy to shorten your work once you're done. It's not so easy to add more length. After you've cut the yarn, you're just going to put your fingers through the loop, pinch that new tail you've cut, and pull it through. And there you have your chain stitch. Hi friends, it's Douglas Payne with the UNC General Alumni Association. Today I'm going to show you how to make these cute little pom-pom rams. We'll start off with making sure you have all the supplies you'll need. Yarn for the pom-pom, scissors, black or white felt for the face, some pipe cleaners, yellow for the horns, blue for a bow, and then black for the feet. You'll just need two black pipe cleaners per ram to make the feet and then a 15 inch I-cord to secure your ram and to make the loop or the hanger if you want. You can also just use regular yarn. I would suggest using a different color yarn if you have it available. So first we're gonna make some room and grab the yarn that we're gonna work with. To make the pom-pom, we'll wrap around our fingers about a hundred times. My fingers spread out are about three and a half inches. So depending on your finger or hand span, you may want to adjust the size of your pom-pom uh, depending on how big you want it to be. I'm going to set a timer for a minute. That is about how long it takes me to wrap a hundred times around my hand going at a pretty uh, quick pace hard for me to talk to you guys and wrap at the same time so thank goodness for timers. Do make sure that you're not uh, wrapping too tightly so that your fingers are not hurting. You can see that my yarn was wound into a ball before I started. You do not need to do that uh, with your skein of yarn. If it's not wound in a ball you can pull it directly from the skein. 
I just think it's a little easier to work with if it's wound up in a ball. And if you need help with which end to pull out of your skein, there's uh, lots of videos online and I included some in the, the prep document. All right, just a few more seconds here and we'll be done. All right, there is my timer. So I'm going to cut the yarn and then carefully slide this <laughs> wrapped yarn off of my fingers, okay, keeping it straight like this. Then I'm going to take my I cord and get ready to tie around the center. Now this part might be a little tricky, so take your time and make sure your um, yarn that you're tying with is centered so you get a nice even pom-pom. And then you do want to pull it very tight. You can see as I pull it, it starts to really make that ball form. Okay, now before um, I do anything else, I'm going to hold the blue yarn in my hand because I don't want to accidentally cut it with the scissors. Then I am going to really just find, uh, pu put my scissors into those loops and sort of pull up so I'm trying to get to the center of all the loops and I'm going to cut. You can see it's already floofing out into a pom-pom. Now as I go through, I can see some loops that I missed, so I really do try to get all the loops on each side, but of course there's always one that gets away. I'm still holding on to that blue yarn as I change sides. Don't worry as you're cutting if things look a little uneven, that's totally fine and normal. We are going to take a minute to trim your pom-pom so it looks more even. I'm going to give it a little shake. Yeah, you see all the yarn bits flying out, totally fine. But you can see that I have some yarn that's longer than the others. When you're trimming your pom-pom, just remember that you can always cut more but you can't put it back on. So just go easy as you're trimming. You can always take more off. So you might find, oh, miss some loops there, the shortest part of your pom-pom and try to even things out from that frame of reference. And then um, as you're trimming your pom-pom, do be sure to pause and um, make sure maybe you want to cut at a rounded angle. You're not just cutting flat. You don't want to make it a square. Um, we'll continue trimming that until it's in a good place for what you want. Oh look, there's a giant piece of yarn coming out of my pom-pom, goodbye. Okay, so this still, I'm not very happy with this pom-pom, so I'm going to keep trimming. And, you know, if you get to your pom-pom and you say, oh my gosh, I've totally ruined it, the good thing is that you can just try again. It's yarn. It took a minute to wind the yarn around your fingers for a pom-pom. So if that happened to you, you either want to pause this video or wrap your yarn again while I am very slowly trimming my pom-pom, I think that's great. Or if you're ready to go, then I will see if I can hurry up for you guys. I think the pom-pom I have here is really starting to take shape. Now keep in mind too, once you're done with your ram, you might make adjustments later 
it's a work in progress. You don't need to have every step totally completed at one time. All right, so I've got my pom-pom. The next thing I'm gonna do is add the pipe cleaner legs. Wherever you tied the knot, you're gonna flip your ram over and we're gonna put the legs on. I'm gonna take a pipe cleaner and bend it in half and put it through and try to, you know, scoot it towards the front a little bit, or I guess, you know, towards one side of the pom-pom, because that will be one set of feet going that way. We're gonna grab another black pipe cleaner, fold it in half, slide it under, and uh, we're going to angle it the other direction. I like to then uh, roll the edges of the pipe cleaners once or twice and make these cute little feet to stick out. All right. So then once you have your feet in place, it will you know, start looking like a little ram is in front of you. You see I've got some more trimming to do. I'll come back to that. To make the face, you'll want to draw on your piece of felt. I'm gonna freehand mine. Again, I know that if it doesn't look great, I can try again or I can trim it down. So I'm gonna draw on the bigger side. I did provide some templates for you to cut out and then trace on your felt, but essentially it's this flat line and I, I am using <laughs> yellow chalk, which you probably can't see. So let me switch on my chalk for you guys. Um, you're gonna draw a straight line for the head, top of the head, and then come down for the ears. And then I give my rams, um, a rounded nose, but it's sort of flat on the bottom. And then those ears go up like that. When I cut out and I'm looking at this, I'm like, yeah, that, that face is probably a little bit long. So I'm gonna change that and make it a little shorter. When I cut out my face, I am going to uh, try to cut inside the line so that my chalk doesn't show up on my ram. Felt is not very forgiving, so I am going to try to go slowly. Um, at this point, if you're having trouble drawing your ram or need to pause the video to go print out and cut your templates, please feel free to do so. You know, I'm looking at what I've cut so far and that ear is looking a little pointy, so I'll come back to that. Again, you can always take things away, but you can't add them back in. I have found for using chalk on felt um, that it mostly can rub out or you might need like a damp washcloth to really get it out. Um, but I would go easy, would not load up the, uh, the chalk on your felt as you're cutting it out. So here's the face I'm going to work with. For either the girl or the boy ram, I am going to fold the face at the ear and I'm going to make the smallest slit possible right there. That is where my pipe cleaner is going to come out. It does not need to be very big at all. And again, I'm going to fold that ear over, make the tiniest slit. There you go. So then, uh, say we're going to make the boy ram. I'm going to go ahead, and this is the knot side up, going to find the blue yarn and stick my yellow pipe cleaner in there. Then I am going to put that pipe cleaner through one side of the face. 
and the other. And then before I do anything else, I'm gonna try to position and make sure the face is the right height from the body. Because once we move, uh, once we make the horn, there, it's gonna be pretty much where we leave it. But the hard part is over. To make the horns, um, I like to just wrap it around my finger like that and take it away. You might need to bend that last little bit. Same thing on this finger. Although I had a moment, I'm like, it, I might be wrapping the opposite way. We'll see what it looks like. I think it's fine. Whichever way they curl, it will still look like a ram. So there you go. Here is our pom-pom ram. I hope you enjoyed this video. So now we have this cute little ram. If you want to add face details, googly eyes with a Sharpie or what have you, I hope you experiment and have fun with that. If you're ready to be done with your ram, if you want to make the uh, loop, you just really need to tie the, the ends together. You might decide to cut the tail of the yarn completely once you've done that. Or you might tie a bow at the top and then trim your yarn. If your eye cord is too long, you can either um, you know tie it and cut it, or you can um, go back and undo some of your stitches. 